Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that really likes knives a lot. Go figure. Today, we're going to talk about a knife that we should have talked about a while ago, the Becker BK11. But first, let's not sell you any sheaths at all. I don't want you to buy anything. Disregard this next part. Okay, hopefully you didn't buy anything, and today we're going to talk about the Becker BK-11. i got to make a sheath for this for my friend Chris the Jost. So anyway, here's the Becker BK-11. He just kind of rudimentary wrapped this handle here. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this, if I'm going to fiberglass resin this. I mean, he's not like too in love with the wrap job, but it's serviceable. It's fine. And considering like the, the whole placement in here, that's what else are you going to do, right? So it's very comfy. This sheath's a little wonky. Here's a locking mechanism because it kept falling out and people didn't like it. Chris told me. But you can go ahead and pop her out here. Now, he's going to wear this as a neck knife. You can get him for about 60 bucks on Knife Center. How is it in the hand? Not bad. Not bad in my medium-large hands here. You know? And you know, I've been, I've been in training, so we're getting really hydraulic. Like, how are you going to get this out of my hand, guy? You're not. You're not. So, I like it. Nice with the, the wrapping here. Nice swell to it here in the handle. Feels very comfy. Lightweight. Feels like about four ounces or not even maybe. Nice edge on it. Powder coat. 1095 steel. You know how Becker do. Not bad though, right guys? Look at that. Look at that. I really like this knife. What do you guys think about it? Now, I probably should have waited till I made the sheath to make a video on this, but you know what my sheaths look like. You know? They look something like that. That's my sheath, right? So he can expect similar. He also wants a Recon Tonto sheath as well. Anyway, I think this is a great fixed blade. I know this isn't like much of a video. It's gonna be a wham bammer. I just wanted to show it off and get your impressions. What do you guys think of this knife? I think it's great. It's, I mean, as you can see, I have a lot of, you know, control over it. And also a few grips that work. I don't know about this. This isn't bad though. I'm kind of locked in. As long as you get your pinky in that choil here, Tris. Well, he knows. This is like one of his favorite knives. So he probably knows all the quirks and tricks to it. No jimping on this uh, spine, which there, I actually love. I think that's great. No jimping. Not needed. This powder coat gives you plenty of traction. Sometimes I would strip the powder coating off my Becker knives, like my BK9s. By the way, I got to buy another one of those. I keep selling them to people because I keep making cool ones. and They go, I want that. And I just go, okay. And because you guys know I do events and shows and stuff too. So sometimes when I'm low on stock or I don't really have much, I'll pull from my personal collection just to have a display item out. And very often people make an offer on that. So that's why I kind of cycle through a lot of knives. But how cool. I really like this knife a lot. And again, as with many knives in the 50 to $150 region, the weak point of this blade is of course the sheath. The sheath sucks. This locking mechanism sucks. I don't like it. Junk. Gotta get him a new one. So I'm gonna make my buddy a new sheath for this knife here. Super cool though. A lot of control. I mean, look, I wouldn't feel this comfortable, you know, the way I've been handling this knife with a lot of other knives. See what I'm saying? You really don't see me on the channel showboating or being unsafe with the knives, really. But this one I feel like just very comfy with it. Like, you have a lot of control over this knife. And it just wants to go where you want it to go. I mean, this is the reason you watch knife reviews, right? It's to hear their actual thoughts on the blade. This is it. This is the stuff that you can't get in the description when you're shopping online. The way I'm handling this knife should tell you everything. If you know knives, you understand that I don't just pick up random knives and be this comfortable. I'm very curious about the Topps Ice Dagger as well. I think I'm just going to buy it because, I don't know, Topps sent me that claw. I got to do a follow-up video with the sheath. I thank them. And kind of was like, well, all right, what next? And never heard anything back because, again, I don't think the view count's high enough for them over there. I don't know what their deal is, but if they, Tops, if you're listening and you do want to send me something, um, Tops Ice Dagger, definitely. That's next. Because I think that's kind of like the same thing, only it looks a little more robust. But this is so freaking comfy. As a matter of fact, I'm not like this with Azulas. I'm not like this with any really small knife. I have an affinity for this BK11. I'm probably going to buy one now. I really like it. I understand why Chris likes it, too. High flat grind, cool knife, the point just directly in line as it should be. 
So you get that really nice balance where your finger goes. The lack of like, you know, G10 handles and stuff actually really aids this thing in its uh, liveliness. You know, it really helps it in its uh, handling. So if you get this knife, I would recommend no handle scales, although I'm curious to feel one with handle scales, but this is nice, man, for a small knife. You know what this reminds me of? This is like, as far as mechanisms go, this is like the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus of like little EDC fixed blades, I think. You know, big enough to do something with, but small enough to keep on you all the time, light enough where it's not a problem, totally functional, trusted, reliable. Yep, this is the shield of little fixed blades. What do you guys think? Um, with the exception of, here comes this crappy sheath, which, by the way, that's not that bad. That retention on that's not that bad. It's not that crappy. I just hate this locking thing. Kind of dumb. Don't really need it with something that that sturdy. So there's that. Thank you to Chris the Ghost for sending this in. And you guys are awesome. Um, yeah, send me some more knives, guys. I don't want to buy a ton of knives this year. <laughs> really, I'm just trying to like cycle through. I don't want to be one of those channels that like, oh, I got to buy five more knives this month. Like that's not what this channel is about. It's a discussion. We're talking about blades. So send me stuff to talk about and I'll make you uh, these things maybe. So anyway, here's our subscribe story and heroes list. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. You're amazing. These guys come and go, but some of them have been there from the beginning. Shredder Knife Reviews, shout out. You've been there since the beginning. Guys, they have a YouTube channel. Pretty cool. Go check them out. I don't know. I, if you want me to shout out your business or something, go get on Subscribestar and then just let me know. Hey, Joe, I could use a little bump here on something. Even if you're a knife tuber, I don't care. I don't see competition, man. We all got to help each other out. As a matter of fact, I see a shitload of uh, copycat channels that pop up and uh, look just like my stuff. And even, I, I saw one guy saying, let's pay a bill. Yo, man, that's definitely mine. That's definitely mine. Although I'm a copycat channel too. As a matter of fact, what got me started initially or what, you know, gave me the courage to do it was I was watching knife review channels and I came across like Nick Shabazz. I've been watching his stuff for a while off and on. And I thought, well, you know, he can do it. <laughs> so why not? Why not me? And the same thing you're thinking right now, if you're thinking about starting your own channel, well, I can do what Joe's doing. Yes, please. But can you do it for two, three, four, five years, week in, week out, rain or shine, family tragedy or not? Can you do that? And if you can do that, which by the way, you can pre-schedule stuff. I don't know if you noticed, but the last few videos were recorded all in one shot. So do it that way. You know, it's really not a bad life if you can make some money at it. But I have this and I also have, is it still good? Which is like right here. Okay. So is it still good? It is about older films. I'm really passionate about it. You know, I think older movies are superior to the crap that's out there today. And I'm an old guy. I'm 42. So it's kind of like, all right, I'm going to talk about movies, sell my books. You guys know that I write. And that's what it's about. So you start things that you're passionate about. I'm passionate about knives. I'm passionate about film. I love my books. Right. And that's what I talk about. You just kind of hang out. Oh, and I also like the arm wrestling. So, I don't know. Whatever you guys are into, if you got something that you want to promote, I will certainly help you, especially if you've been supporting me for this length of time. I do appreciate you. And let me help you. If there's a way I can help you, I'm down, man. Send me an email. Uh, also, from the giveaway, we should have our winners by now. If not, I'm going to keep asking. Go back to the uh, Sharpen's Best Giveaway video. You'll see what I'm talking about there. I needed your advice whether or not I should keep my website up or just ditch it and deal with you guys uh, over email. So thank you for your feedback on that. And I got to get out of here. Long video, but I'll see you guys next time on 5-Minute Knives. <laughs>